Hi there, I'm Eitan, and welcome back to Wix Wiz. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create an alternating repeater using Bello code. So you'll be able to create a repeater that looks something like this, which either has alternating background color or alternating side of the elements left to right. And let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is the alternating background color of the repeater. And in order to do that, we're going to need to add a new box to our repeater because the default container, which the repeater comes with, cannot have its background changed using Velo. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new element. And it's just going to be a box. And I'm just going to add one of these generic box elements. And I'm going to make it smaller so that it'll fit inside of our repeater and drag it into the repeater. Then I'm going to take our other elements and drag them inside of this box so we can add it act as a background for our repeater. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag those two in and move the box to be the background of the repeater. If you want to get pixel perfect, you can go ahead and use the toolbar to do that. Uh, for my purposes, 80% is fine. Uh, so now we've just replaced the background with a box instead of just our default container. And we can change the name of that box to, for example, something like background. I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can take a look at our code. And this is all code that we wrote in the previous chapter of this tutorial. So I invite you to check that out if you have not seen it yet, so you can get an idea of what we're talking about. And what we're going to do is basically show how we can alternate the background based on this index property of our repeater. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right over here on the bottom. And I'm going to write a condition. So I'm going to write if index divided by 2. And here we're going to have to use something. Um, we're going to use this symbol, which basically tells us what the remainder is after we divide two numbers by each other. So index divided by 2. Uh, if it's an even number, then there should be no remainder. So if that is equal to 0, then we are going to change the background color of our box uh, and essentially our repeater. And don't forget to use the item selector here and not the general W selector. And I'm going to say background. And here it just added a W selector for no apparent reason. And I'm going to say style uh, background color. And I'm just going to say that it should be equal to red. Obviously, you can put whatever color you want here. You can use hexes to make it something a little more nuanced than the regular CSS colors, which are quite ugly. And now let's just go ahead into preview mode. And we can see that all of our even numbers have turned into red. And if we want, we can also go and create an else statement and say that if it's not one of these, then our background color should be blue. And in that case, if we go into preview mode, then we'll have kind of red, blue, red, blue stripes. So this is one of the most basic alternating things you can do with a repeater. And now I'm going to show you another option, which is, for example, if we want to display the text on opposite sides. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And in order to do this, we're actually going to have to duplicate each of these text elements inside of our repeater. So I'm going to say that this is language left. And this is greeting left. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate both of these. into our repeater. And I'm going to change the text direction so that it starts on the right. And 
and think that this could equally also be an image or something along those lines. And I'm going to put these right over here and also change the name of the IDs to be language right and heading right. Uh, sorry, greetings right. Excellent. And now you can see here that we're throwing some errors because we no longer have any elements which are called just language or just greeting. And what we're going to need to do here is actually move these into our if statement. I'm going to put these over here. And I'm going to put these over here. And I'm going to get rid of our alternating backgrounds for now. And what we're going to do is that we're going to say if the remainder of the index divided by 2 is 0, then we're going to populate language left with that value. And otherwise, we are going to do language right. But we also need to hide the opposite direction. Otherwise, we will have one side which is populated with data and the other side which is just showing this generic heading text. So in order to do that, we are just going to, for example, take language right and say dot hide. And we are going to do the same thing for reading right and the same thing for greeting and language left. So I'm just going to copy those over to here and change the rights here to lefts. And now we can head into preview mode. And you can see now that we have alternating text within our repeaters. It's not perfect. We still need to do some slight editing over here. But we just demonstrated two things. One is how to create an alternating background color. And the second is how to create alternating elements, text, images, etc. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.